But dear students, welcome you in the aviation learning process. In today's aviation maintenance training, we would study about the module 13 topic that is external ground power connected with the aircraft. So how it works, we would study in this today's lecture. Dear students, our presentation sequence would be like this. We would study about the design learning objective that why we are why we have to learn about this external powers related connected to the aircraft we would give you a brief introduction of external power that what is external power related to the aircraft what are its functions and what are its operations and the purpose of external power would be also would also be explained in this lecture and the operation of the system that how the external power works would be our last topic so let's start Dear students, after this lecture, the students would be able to learn about and understand about the well, what is external power and what are its important and how it is to be connected with the aircraft. Chatterman, as you know that the power is very important for the aircraft. So there are different sources of power for an aircraft. These can be electrically driven generator uh, mechanically driven generator with the help of engines these the power can be achieved from the battery sources as well as the power can be uh, can occur, power can be achieved from uh, auxiliary power unit that is APU so external power is one of the source to provide the power to the aircraft here is an example of ground power source for an aircraft. This ground power source provides can provide 28 volt DC as well as the 115 volt AC 400 hertz. Dear students, this 400 hertz AC 115 volt 400 hertz AC is very important for providing power to the different aircraft systems. Dear students, most aircraft employ an external power circuit that provides a means for connection, a means for providing power, connecting electrical power from a ground source to the aircraft. The purpose of this external power is to use for starting the engine or maintenance activities on the aircraft this type of system allows operation of various electrical system without discharging the battery. Means to say that if you are, if you would provide if you get load from the battery, it would be depleted and it would be required in during the flying operation. So we would use the external power for maintenance activities and starting of the engine with the help of external power. So these are the purposes of the external power. That's why we use the external power for, for we use external power for the purpose of starting of engine and then uh, conducting different maintenance activities. General and major parts related to the external power are like this. The external power system typically consists of an electrical plug located in a convenient area of the fuel plug means to say that septicals are available on the different part of the aircraft where we can connect these septicals so dear students it's very important for us to know about the external power that how we can connect the external power with the aircraft so located in a convenient area of the fuel lodge and electrical solenoid used to connect external power to the bus and the related wiring of further system. Dear students, the external power can be used to charge the aircraft battery or power the aircraft electrical loads. When the aircraft is being is in the running condition with the help of engines, means to say that when the engines are in the running conditions, they are continuously charging the batteries with the help of DC or AC generators. 
and if these DCs and AC generators are not working means to say that the engines are not working then these ground external power sources are a source for charging the aircraft batteries so it's one of the source one of the part to charge the aircraft battery on most airlines a separate ground handling bus and an APU battery bus are used many of these buses divide the power to additional buses which distribute power strategically to subsystem of electrical power. These types of systems are available on the complex are the large aircraft like Boeing 777, A320, Boeing 757, Boeing 737 and some of the other big aircraft, large aircraft. Here is an example of the large aircraft like Boeing 777. We can we can judge here that we can connect our electrical loads on these two positions means to say we are having the electrical receptacles receptacles available at these places here are two engines which provides uh, which are containing the uh, AC generators and some aircrafts can have DC generators as well Auxiliary power unit is available at the in the tail of the aircraft, which is another source for provision of electrical power to the aircraft systems. Means to say that if we are discussing the power sources of the aircraft, you could say that the engines, engine driven electrical generators, auxiliary power unit starter generators, and the aircraft batteries is are the main sources of power provision of power for the aircraft but external loads can be connected through power receptacles available at different locations in the aircraft but mostly these locations are in the nose area as well as in the fuse lodge Dear students, on large aircraft, when the aircraft engines are running, AC generators mounted on and driven by the engines supply the DC buses through the use of transformer rectifier unit, in short they are called as TRU. Those systems which are working on the DC systems, these are directly, these are being uh, not uh, provided the AC, so these uh, systems would be run through the DC buses. So DC buses get the DC power by transferring the by transforming this the power of AC generators with the help of transformer rectifier units. So TRU is one of the equipment which converts the AC generator AC power into the DC DC for the DC buses. Dear students, the TRUs convert the 115 volt AC generated into the 28 volt DC power. When the aircraft is on the ground with the external power connected, a separate TRU converts the AC from the ground power source to D 28 volt DC to power the distribution buses. When the external power source is not being used, the main aircraft battery supplies the DC power buses, DC power buses and these DC power buses provide 28 volt DC to the different aircraft system which are being run through the use of 28 volt DCs. With this, thank you very much. I hope you have got the basic operation, purpose and the main features of the external powers related to the general aircraft equipments. After this lecture, I am hopeful that you would explain the external power of the aircraft in a good way. With this, thank you very much. Keep watching our lectures on aircraft maintenance training. Thank you very much.